Hi everyone. Hi, I hope you had a lovely day today. Ruby's third day at school. Oh, did you have a nice time? I bet you did. And boys, you're off again tomorrow. How wonderful is that? I know you had a great day. So, um, it's time for Nana's bedtime story. And I missed one yesterday, so I promised to read you um, the Snow White one, didn't I? So, and I didn't. I read Tag instead from The Lion King. So, um, I'm going to go back one, and I'm going to read you the Snow White one. And it's called A Visit to the Castle. So, if you're sitting really comfortably, then I will begin. All right, men, Doc said. Here we are. Now, all we have to do is go up and... Dock on the floor. That's it. Knock on the door. The seven dwarfs had just reached the castle where Snow White lived. They had been so busy in the mines that this was the first time they'd had the chance to visit Snow White since she'd married the prince. Time's a-wasting, Grumpy said. He knocked firmly on the tall wooden door. A moment later, a guard opened it. Uh, good day, the castle guard said. New servant, around the back, please. Oh, we're not flu nervants, Doc spoke. Um, uh, we're not new servants. We're here to see the princess. Yes, the princess, the other dwarves, dwarves agreed. Dopey nodded eagerly. The guard looked doubtful. You're here to see the princess? He looked over them. The dwarves stood up straight, glad that they'd remember to wash that morning. Finally, the guard shook his head. I'm sorry, he said. You don't look like the sort of visitors that would interest the princess. And with that, he began to shut the door. But Grumpy held the door open. Mark my words, he growled. If you don't tell the princess we're here, there'll be trouble for sure. Who is it? Sweet voice called from inside the castle. Who's at the door? Never mind, princess, the guard called. It's just some strange little men who claim they know you. Little men, Snow White cried, rushing forward. She peered round the door past the guard and her lovely face lit up with joy. Why? Dot, grumpy, sleepy, dopey, happy, sneezy. Even dear Bashful. Bashful blushed deeply. Gosh, he said. Hello, princess. The guard looked surprised. You mean you know these fellows? He asked Snow White. I thought they were just riffraff. Riffraff? Snow White cried. Why no, they may look a little different, but they're just like royalty to me. They're my very best friends. The guard apologised to the dwarfs and Snow White invited her friends into the castle for a nice long visit. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Oh, how nice that they went to visit her. So, I hope you can see that. You see them all down at the bottom. She's looking over her out of the window. How lovely was that? So, I hope you enjoyed it. And so tomorrow, I promise to read Flick's Big Date because I just got it wrong. So, sorry about that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. So, my little lovies. I hope you have a really good night's sleep and I love you loads and loads and loads. So I love you, Atty. I love you, Torben. I love you, Ruby. And I love you, Max. You be really, really good and sleep well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Another exciting day. Love you. Mwah. Big hugs.